Hi, in this lecture, you will learn how to search and find the packages. Actually, we generally find and check our packages with using the SQL Developer tool. But I will show you some other ways to find and view them too. Sometimes we need to check whether they are valid or not easier and faster with using the data dictionary views. We have a couple data dictionary views to find some information about the packages. These are user source, all source, or DBA source views, or user objects, all objects, or DBA objects views. With user source and the similar ones, we get the specific info about the packages, triggers, etc. And with user objects and similar ones, we get the general info about the packages and other objects, like if they are valid, etc. I will show you all. So let's start with finding with the SQL developer. To do that, we simply right click on the packages branch in the connections tab. And select apply filter option. In the opening window, you can write the name of the package that you want to search and click OK. Sometimes there may be more than one packages with the same name owned by different users. Or if you search without the full name of the package, you may have similar named packages. You can double click the related package spec or body and open it. The rest is just like how you know. Or you can select the other options to search. You can query based on the creation time or last modified time. I showed you all these in the functions and procedures lectures, so no need to show again. So let's close this and show the other ways. The second way is checking from the user source, all source or DBA source data dictionary views. Actually, the data in them are all the same. I mean, if you select the same package from these three views, you will see completely the same data. The difference is about the privilege. If you don't have the privilege of DBA, you cannot query from the DBA source view. DBA source has all the packages, subprograms, etc. But user source includes your packages, subprograms, etc. I mean, the objects that you created. And all source view includes the packages, subprograms, etc. of yours and the other users that you have the privilege to execute. Great. To check these, let's write select all the columns from user source. In the output, we can see the packages, subprograms, triggers, etc. that the HR user has. Because we will execute that code with the HR user. Now let's run it. As you can see, we have our procedures, packages, package bodies, types, triggers, etc. And in the text column, it has the text of the objects line by line. I have mentioned about that in the previous lectures. By the way, Package specs are written as package in the type column. Now let's try to find one of them. And the body is written as package body. As we can see in here. So to see the text of a specific package, we need to write our where clause. Let's write it then. We write where type is equal to, let's say, package body. And name is equal to, let's say, amp underscore pkg. Let's run it. I think we did something wrong here. There must be a space instead of underscore here. So let's run this code again. As you can see in the output, all the text of our package body is written into that view line by line, even with the comment line and the empty lines. Great. As we query with the HR user, we will see the same data within the all source view. 
But if we query without the where clause, we can see more objects that the HR user has the privilege to access like the standard package of SYS user. You can check it if you wish. Now, if we check the columns of these views, we will see five columns. I explained them before, but a really important data is absent in here. The status of that object. This is important because we generally need to check whether our package is valid or not. We use that for not only the packages, but also the other objects. To find that data, we query from the user objects, all objects, and DBA objects views. The only thing to change in here is changing the view name and adding object text before the column names. So let's do that. I write user objects in here. And in here, I write object type. And here I write object name and run it. Now here we can see the create date of that object, last DDL time means last compile time, and the timestamp of that time and the states of that object. And there are some other data that's useful for the DBAs, but for us, the most important column is the status column. You can either check for the specific objects for the status, or you can query for finding all the invalid objects. Let's find all the invalid objects then. Let's delete here and write status is equal to invalid. Let's run it. As you can see, our AMP details view is invalid. We can find the invalid objects like that and validate them based on the object types. Great, now you know how to find the packages with the tool and with the data dictionary views. So this is the end of this lecture. See you in the next lectures.